A pleasant good morning. Welcome to Transwest Truck Trailer RV here in Fetrick, Colorado. It's yours truly, Marlon Bledman. Today we have a used M2112 here on our lot. It's about to go into service, make sure everything is okay with it. I just wanted to bring it to you guys this morning just to show you what we have in stock and what we have coming. So this is one of, a, that's, this is a unique truck, I would say, because for 2016 with low mileage and of course the condition this unit is in, it's amazing. So I know we've had a lot of people out there looking for 112s, they're very hard to find, brand new. The last of our 2022 112s are coming in next week and that one is already sold. So we won't have another 112 until our 2023s come out. So whenever we get used ones in, it's always a, you know, a great deal for customers looking for 112, especially in a great condition like that. So this one is on the market as we speak. Again, you might see some photos online. It's about to go into our service department starting today to make sure everything underneath this truck is perfect. We don't put anything on our lot that is anything less than perfect. So this particular unit, I would say, is immaculate. So taking a first look up front here, you're looking at the bigger grill. So on the, on the 106s, this grill is a little bit smaller. So we need more air intake going into that engine because it is a bigger engine. So we have that bigger grill up front. A good thing about, you know, the Freightliners is a three-piece bumper that we always talk about. We always talk about that because why? Accidents happen all the time. You never know when it's your turn. So if in case you are in an accident and you hit one of those bumper, uh, any part of that bumper, let's say you end up hitting this side. You could only, you could only, you can only replace this side instead of having to replace the full bumper. And you know how expensive that could be. So the three-piece bumper comes in very handy. This one does come with fog lights and of course a paper, painted uh, bumper on the bottom here. Again, we have those headlights and as we open up the hood similar to the 106s we have the handle up here and this one is the western hauler so this is a 2016 freightliner m2 112 western hauler conversion what you guys are looking at right now is the detroit diesel this one is the dd13 and it's also partnered with the allison 4000 trv six-speed automatic transmission this unit produces about 500 horsepower and about 1750 foot-pounds of torque great unit tons of power and of course it will be a beast on the road if you guys are wondering you can go on our website right now unit number here is 5u220830 again you'll see some pictures online once we run it through the shop and everything, we'll put the list price on there, but we just wanted to show you guys what's in stock. We put brand new tires on this unit. When it came in, the tires were out of date to be on a lot, so we ended up changing those tires. So those are brand new Toyo tires, and those are 265-75 R22.5s. Just gonna close that hood up. Again, you do have that soft close. Again, a little bigger hood compared to the 106. Remember guys, strap down both sides before heading out. So this one, I wanted to compare brake pads like we mentioned in a few videos before in the past. And for all those tuning in for the first time, one of the reasons why people reach for freight liners or go to freight liners instead of a wanton pickup or 4500 or 5500 is the comparison with the brake pad. So imagine you have 30,000 pounds hauling, you need to stop that load and your truck. You're gonna have two of those pads in here to stop that truck and your load compared to this brake pad on a one, on a one ton pickup. You can see the big difference here. So again, yes, it's a bigger truck. You guys will justify that. But again, it's the same load on a truck like this. The stopping capacity is way better on a truck like this. This one does come with a 13 gallon 
death tank and it's a little bit more on the 112s than the 106s and the 106s is a six gallon this is a 13 gallon tank we do have our engine block heat on this one one unique thing about this truck as well is the fuel capacity we have 180 gallons total uh, diesel on this truck we got 110 on the driver side and 70 on the passenger side so it's a, it's a lot of fuel and of course it will take you a long way before stopping for flu, uh, for diesel so again this was a western hollow conversion back in 2016 so you guys could see the the design on the step here we got your marker lights another unique thing that i like too typically you would have the batteries underneath the driver's uh, or the passenger back seat there is a nice little storage box right here you open up that window and you have full access to all your batteries on this truck which is pretty cool and make sure all doors are open so let's take a look at the driver's side. We do have air ride and heated seats in the front. The air ride switch is right underneath here. Heated switch. And of course, this is to tilt the backrest. Again, your key access, all your light options up here. And again, the design of the door, Western Hauler style, handle to get in and out of the truck. The back seat, again, this bench will turn into a bed if you need to relax. All you guys got to do, we, the headrest has to be removed first before laying this flat. And then the switch will be up front near the driver and I'll show you guys where that is located. And of course, underneath the seat, we got a sub and all your amplifiers to power up the speakers. So we got a nice, a nice little storage box up here and below here. This one does come with the attachment for if you have a gooseneck trailer, a 30,000 pound, 30,000 pound ball that attaches in place of the fifth wheel hitch. And as I talk about a fifth wheel hitch, guys, we're gonna turn our attention to the Hensley trailer saver hitch. This one is rated for 32,000 pounds. This one does have the airbags and of course you could switch this out into that gooseneck ball attachment and of course you got your two chain tie downs on either side of this unit. The air supply switch is inside the cab and I'll show you guys where that's located. You do have a seven pin here for, uh, for your trailer and down here we do have a bumper pull hitch also with a seven pin hookup down here. This one does come with a rear camera. It is not a Voyager camera system, it's just a rear view camera. And again, once you put the vehicle in reverse, that screen will turn up on the stereo. And I'll show you guys that as well. Another small storage box in here. Again, you could also add a storage box up here if you need more storage. But a lot of people like this area to store personal items and tie down. If they're going on trips with their horses, they will have the hay and stuff on here or just water, whatever the case may be. This is the other tank I was mentioning to you guys. This is a 70 gallon tank. And again, 110 on the other side, 70 here, total of 180 gallons. So we'll get take a look inside and show you one of the reasons why people love going into a freight liner. The step up is another good thing because now you above a lot of vehicles on the road. The view is a big thing. When driving this truck, yes, it might look big to a lot of people. I've had customers bought sight unseen, came in, realized how big the unit was. I was like, okay, let's take it on the test drive before you sign any paperwork. We took it on the freeway. He was like, okay, I understand. It looks big, but it drives like a regular car. 
So yes, this truck might look big and appear big. But once you're driving this truck, it's so easy to drive. The turning radius on those trucks are amazing, being a bigger truck. And of course, safety. We have fully air brakes on this truck. I showed you guys those uh, brake pads earlier, what will stop this truck. Also, what will stop this truck, again, is the engine brake. This switch right here, it does have a high and low setting. So by putting it all the way up, we'll, we'll kick in all six cylinders and all the way down will be three cylinders. We do have that Clarion uh, stereo sound system. It does come with Bluetooth, uh, DVD, also comes with FM, AM and satellite radio. Again, this does have cruise control. So this is to turn it on and of course set it and adjust. Heated mirrors, manual regen, all your options for your your windows, power locks, red differential lock. You have optional switches here, just in case you want to add more lighting to your unit. You have optional switches. This one does come with 12 volt plugins instead of USB. Again, they started putting more USB plugins in the newer units, but again, a lot of people still love to have those that option here, the 12 volt, or they call it the cigarette lighter. <laughs> Again, that air brake for your parking brake and for your regular brakes. You have all your AC controls down here. This one here, you have your air lift. Uh, so this is for your trailer. For the hitch on the back of the truck, the fifth wheel Hensley trailer saver hitch. So you could add air to it and you can remove air. We do have a rest suspension, air suspension. So if you put this up, it will allow it to go down. And as you guys can see, the switch up here will stay down. And then once you put it down here, it will show up. So once you release that, all the air will come back into the truck. Again, with Western Hauler, they make a really nice design, especially with those wood finish. You have a couple cup holders here, a nice storage box inside here more storage down here so it's pretty amazing i mean the seats are a little bit different as well so you have that alligator look to the middle of the seat and of course black leather around that again the steering wheel is adjustable like all freight liners are you got some cool lights here so you got your work light on the bed you got your trailer light this is the sofa and again everything is clearly labeled up here so this is to change the bench into a, a bed. So this is a switch up here. Typically you have it in the door. Some people have it up here. We saw a unit that had it down here, which is pretty amazing. Again, that's why when you buy a vehicle, we go over where stuff are so you don't expect it to be certain places. This one does come equipped with a CB radio already installed from the previous customer. Good, nice lighting here. For reading lights they are adjustable and of course you got your regular lights as well this truck right now has 35,872 miles so that's super low mileage for a truck like this again if you're looking for a heavier duty truck 500 horsepower 1750 foot pounds of torque this truck might be the one for you again it just came on the market we bought it from a, a, a guy looking to sell it outright so we ended up buying that one in again there was a crack in the windshield so we put a brand new windshield in this one brand new tires also we're going to send it through our service department make sure everything is in working condition on this truck no air leaks no gas leaks change filters oil and all that good stuff so this truck will be ready for the lot in the next couple of days again if you guys are interested in this one please give us a call today once it hits you know on the lot i don't think it will last very long especially with the demand on a truck like this right now not able to find new ones and some of the used ones are way out there sometimes on the east coast all, all the way to the north of the of the country so people that are looking for those trucks 
always check our website so this one is available as we speak guys so you can give me a call at 303-684-3412 or you could call or text me on my cell at 661-755-4344 you guys could also email me at marlon.bledman at transwest.com it's an amazing truck like you guys are seeing it you know face to face right now on this video again we got photos online if you want a closer look and of course price will be online as soon as we get it from the shop you could also call us with our offers we do that as well so um in the meantime thank you guys for tuning in today we'll talk to you very soon i'll be with you guys again tomorrow for another video so look forward to some of the inventory we got you guys you guys could also go on transwest.com check our location here in frederick see all our trucks and used vehicles online there or if you guys have any questions or looking for something specific you can give us a call we have a list of names of different units that people are looking for and once we find it we call them sometimes they already found one sometimes they're happy that we contacted them and we found a truck for them so you guys could do that as well and if we have something coming in we'll definitely let you know so thank you guys for tuning in today and i'll see you guys back here tomorrow thank you very much